Facing a winter of isolation from the West, but its old ally South Africa shows no signs of cooling off. And Foreign Minister Lindiwe Sisulu had this message. We're interested in uh, ensuring that our minerals uh, engagements is stepped up. We're interested in making sure that our agricultural uh, agreements are stepped up. We, uh, we have uh, huge possibilities as South Africa of this market that uh, Russia offers us and uh, we need to take full advantage of that. Uh, we have, oh God, I mean it's, it's the entirety of the spectrum of our economy that is open because of the relationship that we have. It will be a tough task. President Putin is disappointed after Pretoria shelved plans to buy Russia's nuclear power stations. Mr. Sulu wants the focus to shift to agriculture, fisheries and water instead. Students at the event gave their reaction. I think that uh, the prospects can be quite uh, exciting. <laughs> Maybe in the future we can uh, 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 come to some um, eff efficient agreements and uh, get uh, some um, profits <laughs> from these uh, uh, relations. The Republic of South Africa is one of the uh, well-developed countries in the Africa and uh, we have uh, good relationships uh, every time. As I study energy uh, at university, uh, um, the aspect that interests me the most is the uh, energy of uh, South Africa and of Russia. Um, so I believe that there are a lot of um, aspects uh, such as renewable energy that should be discussed uh, between uh, our countries. And Pretoria hopes that their historic links might now lead them down new paths. South Africa and Russia's relationship goes back to the days of the liberation struggle. But under President Zuma, it was mired in controversy and allegations of corruption. Now South Africa hopes to reset that relationship. But the challenge will be to go beyond symbolism and to encourage investment that benefits all South Africans. Dan Ashby, SABC News, Moscow.